Alaska, we now have an additional tool for finding people lost in the backcountry. It's called the RECO SAR helicopter detector. Several organizations have been using handheld RECO devices for many years in the last frontier, but now we have a way to deploy that technology over much larger areas. RECO technology makes you searchable to professional rescuers in the event of an avalanche accident or when lost in the outdoors year-round. Wearing gear equipped with these reflectors enables professional rescuers to locate you with RECO detectors. It's a two-part system. The detector sends out a directional radar signal, like the beam of a flashlight. Once the beam of the signal hits the RECO reflector, the signal is echoed back and directs the rescuer to your location. The closer the detector gets to the reflector, the stronger the return signal, ultimately allowing the rescuer to pinpoint your location. This allows us to really quickly narrow down within a large area where a potential uh, search victim or a, a person may be uh, by utilizing the helicopter to do it versus a ground-based team. RECO reflectors are integrated into products from more than 150 leading outdoor brands. They integrate the reflectors into gear such as jackets, pants, helmets, backpacks, boots, watches, and harnesses. Reflectors are also available as single products to be attached to gear such as helmets and backpacks. Oh, it's a very useful tool, I think. GPS, Garmin, InReach was a game changer in search and rescue. And I think that this tool could be a game changer in search and rescue and increase our success rate. Because with our camera technology, we cannot see through vegetation. If an individual is wearing a record reflector, we can detect them in the vegetation or under snow in situations where infrared is not going to be the, the best option. So I think it's a game changer once the public starts to wear this reflector. RECO handheld detectors, first introduced in 1983, are utilized today as a standard tool for avalanche rescue by mountain rescuers worldwide and are used at more than 800 ski resorts and mountain rescue organizations in 27 countries. The handheld detector can locate the reflectors within a range of up to 80 meters through air and 20 meters through packed snow, which results in a practical range of 30 meters in avalanche debris. The handheld detectors are very useful in a smaller area, say like an avalanche debris field or a, a narrow ravine where we might know precisely where that person is within a small geographic area. However, being able to clear an area like the large glacial valleys that we have here in Alaska with a helicopter detector will vastly give us an upper hand in being able to hopefully find somebody quickly. The recently introduced RECO SAR, or Search and Rescue Helicopter Detector, was designed to quickly scan large areas for a missing person in the outdoors. It has been deployed and is operative at several locations in the Alps, Scandinavia, Canada, the Lower 48, and now Alaska. Searching from an altitude of 300 feet and covering a search area of 300 feet wide, flying at 60 knots, the SAR detector enables rescuers to search one square kilometer in roughly six minutes. The principle of locating a victim is the same as for the handheld detector, with the detector sending a radar signal echoed back by the reflector. The RECO system only works if you have a RECO reflector on you, whether it's on your person or on your gear. Otherwise, we're unable to use the handheld or the helicopter mounted detectors to be able to find you. For the user, the RECO reflector offers a simple solution to always be searchable. The reflector is a small passive transponder that weighs less than four grams. It is factory mounted permanently to clothing and gear that is unlikely to be torn off in the event of an avalanche or other accident. It is a non-powered device, meaning it never needs to be switched on, will never lose signal strength, and needs no batteries to function. It is maintenance free and has a virtually unlimited lifespan. RECO technology is not intended for companion rescue, nor is it an alternative to using personal locator beacons in the backcountry. Complementary in function to an avalanche transceiver, it is an additional tool for organized rescue teams to locate skiers, snowboarders, and other outdoor enthusiasts who are injured, buried in avalanche debris, or lost in general. Remember, the system only works if you are wearing a reflector, and searchers need to have somewhat of an idea where to deploy the detector. When you go out on your trip, and have a RECO reflector, just let whoever you are telling where you're going know that you're going to be having a RECO device on you. That's pretty key.